Hello, this is Carrie Walker with Elsevier Global Medical News at the 2008 ASCO Annual Breast Cancer Symposium. Joining me is Dr. Elizabeth A. Mittendorf, an assistant professor of surgical oncology at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. Dr. Mittendorf is presenting data from a study of 143 women with HER2 positive breast cancer, which found that in a subset of women without a pathologic complete response to treatment with the HER2 targeting drug trastuzumab and chemotherapy, nearly a third of tumors converted from HER2 positive status to HER2 negative status during treatment. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Mittendorf. My pleasure. Now, half the women in your study had HER2 positive breast cancer, but did not have complete pathologic response despite treatment with the HER2 targeting agent trastuzumab. Did these women have an initial response to therapy that declined over time, or did they just not respond well to the therapy? Right. 50% uh, of our patients did have a pathologic complete response. 43% of our patients had what was considered a partial response, suggesting that over 90% of patients did respond to trastuzumab therapy. Now, of those 40%, there's some whose response was so significant that they simply had a few tumor cells left, but this was not enough uh, residual tissue for us to repeat HER2 testing. And the presence of those few tumor cells did keep them from being classified as a pathologic complete response. But with respect to your specific question, there, we did not at any interval during the neoadjuvant therapy reassess the patients by biopsy to see when or at what point they quote unquote stopped responding to trastuzumab. Okay. What are the clinical implications of your findings? I, I think our findings are, are extremely interesting and they suggest that patients who are treated in the neoadjuvant setting with trastuzumab who do not have a pathologic complete response should be retested for their HER2 status in the residual tumor. Having said that, I think it's important that we recognize that this doesn't mean that we should stop giving those patients their additional trastuzumab to complete their one year of therapy. Rather, these are a population of patients who we need to further study, probably with an appropriately designed clinical trial, how they should be treated. This is a puzzling phenomenon in which women with HER2 positive breast cancer stop responding to treatment with HER2 targeting therapies. A number of explanations have been proposed for this, including the suggestion that the tumors may be heterogeneous in terms of HER2 status. Your data demonstrates that the tumors can change status with time. Both of these may be in effect. Do you have any thoughts on what's going on and how to tease this apart? Yeah, you're right, and we know certainly from the studies in the metastatic setting as well as in the adjuvant setting that patients who initially respond to trastuzumab most of them actually do stop responding at some point, and so there is a lot of interest in figuring out what is the mechanism by which tumors develop this resistance to trastuzumab therapy. So you're right that our phenomena could explain a response to treatment. We could be treating the HER2 positive clones and allowing the HER2 negative to then develop, and that's this concept of tumor heterogeneity that you referred to. But it's also possible that the loss of HER2 amplification is either a marker of or a mechanism for resistance to trastuzumab therapy. And so our group is continuing to work with the specimens from this study in the laboratory to look for things that we already know have been determined to be mechanisms of resistance to trastuzumab therapy. For instance, we're looking at mutations in the PI3 kinase pathway. We're looking at P10 expression. We're looking for levels of P27. These are all proteins that alterations of these proteins have been demonstrated in previous studies to confer resistance to trastuzumab. So that's ongoing work that those of us that are interested in translational research are completing. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Mittendorf. Thank you. This is Carrie Walker with Elsevier Global Medical News from the 2008 ASCO Annual Breast Cancer Symposium.